welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> How many times have I said that now in the last seven years? So every single week for the last 35 years, I've gone to the thrift store. Now, of course, I missed a few weeks here and there, but it was a tradition of mine way before YouTube ever even was even thought about, I guess. But what I've been doing is every week I've been donating a bunch of stuff to the thrift store. So most of it's product reviews that I just really can't use. And I asked everybody that I know and they're not interested either. So then it ends up in a thrift store. It's all new things and it's really nice because the thrift store is always really thankful for new items instead of you know things that are really used. What we're gonna work on today is we're gonna go to the thrift store I'm gonna finish up my laundry soap. I'm going to put all my laundry soap into little containers. I have to transplant some onions. It's supposed to be 85 degrees today. So it's supposed to be really hot, but it's gonna be a fun day. I'm really having a struggle with titling my videos because my videos aren't just one thing. It's my whole day. And so I'm really struggling with this because People want to know what my videos are about, but if I say it's about gardening, well then they don't watch it because they think it's just gardening, but it's my whole day. So I'm starting to try to say vlogs and that way you know it's everything because I do in my videos, I have cleaning, cooking, gardening, living. It was so cute yesterday. Let me go put this over here so I don't forget this. It was just so sweet yesterday. Hubby came out and it was in the evening and he says, so what are you doing? He said, what are you doing? And then I said, just living. <laughs> and you know, that was the first thing that came out of my mind, just living. I mean, I didn't know what else to say to him because this is what I'm doing. I'm just living. So maybe I should title that in some of my videos, just living. All right, so let me show you the garden now. I know it's hard to see it right now, but you'll see. And here's the one greenhouse since we're right here. By the time you see this, hubby and I will have been married 36 years. So we would have had an anniversary or maybe this will be on our anniversary. I'm not sure, I should have looked to see, but yes, <laughs> 36 years. I was 17 and he was 21 when we got married. Wow, 36 years ago. You know, it doesn't seem quite that long to me. Oh, I wanna show you what I got. So I got this skirt last year and I really like it. I got it at the thrift store. I really, really like it. I'm gonna start seeing if I can find more skirts because in the summertime, it's so much cooler wearing skirts instead of wearing long pants back from the thrift store. And I also went to the Family Dollar. So we were gone about an hour and 20 minutes. They're side by side, the stores. But I spent $3 at the Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. I got these. Now I do have a whole bunch of these. A lovely friend gave them to me, but I never saw these before. They only had three packs. I got all three of them. Don't you just love the old fashionedness look to them? So if you're ever interested in organic seeds that have history behind them, these are only a dollar a pack and the Dollar Generals have them. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna plant some of these and then I'll show you what I got at the thrift store. <laughs> Tessie, 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 I know but I paid $2.25 for her and I thought she'd look like me. I really liked her <laughs> and I have a place for her. I have a shelf where I hold all of my dolls and I absolutely love her. Maybe she's gonna go in my bedroom. I don't know. I don't know, so we'll see. Maybe she'll go in our bedroom or I'll put them out with the other dolls. But for $2.25, I thought she was just so pioneer looking so i got her it's about the little things in life my friends sometimes it's nice to have a few things that aren't needs but 
once. And that's one thing I love about this thrift store is because once a week I'm able to go with a couple dollars. I spent eight dollars and I had so much fun. And I just want to thank everybody for enjoying these videos. Okay. I got this. So this I got and I it's with the antiques. I don't know if it's an antique or not. I paid four dollars and fifty cents for it. So let me show you. It is a display for soap. Now I don't know if this was a real display and they had soap bars in here or if this is just a replica or if this is just nothing that's old to begin with. But it was with their antiques and I loved it for four dollars and fifty cents. And I can't make out what it says. So four dollars and fifty cents, I got this. Now I want to look at my slip because that was four fifty and the doll was two twenty-five. Oops, I am so sorry. I spent ten dollars and sixty cents. So I spent ten dollars and sixty cents. I thought I only spent eight, but then I went and picked up a couple things. So <laughs> I spent ten dollars and sixty cents. Okay, so I got this, and then for 50 cents, and this was half off, they had refill tablets foaming hand soap. These are great, and I add these to my own dish soap whenever I can get them, because this is the total of 24 fluid ounces. I add one of these with water, and it makes my dish soap so much better, and I love doing that. So with my laundry soap, sometimes I'll get maybe a cup of laundry soap that's real laundry soap, and I put it with mine, and it just helps stretch it. Then I got these for 20 cents. They were half off. Verbena and lavender. I got two of them. And then this one was for like 12 cents. Massage bar. So it's a soap, but it's like in different ripples. I know. I love soap. <laughs> I do. I love soap. This was really neat. Sleep salve. Pulse point gel. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my word, this is amazing. It's lavender and valerium. Calming. I need some of that. I'm having troubles falling asleep. I don't know. It's just one of those things, I guess, we all can go through from time to time. And then I got this book. It's China Bailey's Book of Days. 365 days talking about herbs. So it's different herbs and I looked at it and it does not look like it's new age or anything like that. Um, it's about a woman who grew up on a farm and she's a professor of English and she talks all about the different herbs each day. So I really checked this out and it looks really neat and I cannot wait to read it because each day it's talking about a different herb and things you can make. This ends this portion of the video. Now I'm gonna to go to show you the rest of my day and it's planting in the garden. Okay, so this is the very last of my potting soil that I have and you know what? It was just what I needed. <laughs> and we're gonna plant these. So this is the Fragrance Flower Mix. Mixed flowers, Sweet Williams, Wallflowers, Sweet Acillium, all kinds of flowers. We're gonna go ahead and just I'm going to plant two other packages and I'm going to keep one for next year. I told my daughter, I said, save me some more laundry jugs because I like these big laundry jugs to put my homemade laundry soap in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I have to go ahead and blend this up really well again. I do have my battery pack out here and my stick blender and we're going to go ahead and blend this up really well. All right, now we're back in business. I love doing this stuff outside because then there's no mess.
I thought you would love to see what is the highlight of our property. The 1963 azalea bush that people have been commenting me now for many years here on YouTube. And this is the highlight of our property at this time of the year. It is five feet tall and it is beautiful. And I absolutely love it. It fills the whole corner of our property here. 